Welcome to another video. Yeah, this video is sponsored by Y Food. Why? Because it's a delicious and nutritious drink. It's like a meal. I guess it's a meal replacement or a meal supplement. 28 vitamins and minerals, high in protein. So, as your breakfast or whatever, if you're on the move, these are brilliant. Cold brew coffee, alpine chocolate. <laughs> smooth vanilla, banana, and coconut. I don't wanna promote any companies that the stuff I didn't think would be good for the people who watch my videos, and I thought this was quite good. In this box, you get a, your little, your little Tommy Tippy. You get all the same flavors. Ooh, there's also a fresh berry, and you get them in powder form. And so it's just a case of chop, putting them in there, mixing it with a bit of water, and there you go, you've got your full meal. So that doesn't weigh hardly anything. What's it weigh? 85 grams, lightweight, nutritious, full of vitamins, high in fiber, high in protein. Good stuff, mate. Um, they've been kind enough to give us a discount code for everyone as well, which is, I think it's Haze 10. I'll put it downstairs. Head over to Y Food, mate, and, and hook yourself up some of this gear. <laughs> right now, let's get into the video. Back from doing the Cape Raft Trail, and I've been pining to get in the big blue. Here she is. To uh, do a little bit of spear fishing. At the, the, <laughs> I'll be a level with you. Visibility looks a bit cack. We're going old school, and for the first time in a long time, we have a special guest in the shape of, well, in the shape of a Tinder bundle, but in the form of Joseph Von D. And for those of you that are new to the channel, you're in for a treat. <laughs> a man of few words, <laughs> a legend in the game. Yeah. And one of my best friends, he's finally come out. I've not seen him, I don't think I've seen him like all year. And we haven't been out camping for ages, but he's got the weekend off, so he's got two nights to come and play. I said I'll get down early for low tide and just have a little see what I can find. He's got to offload his bends, and then he's going to come down here and just meet me. I said, I said, just look for a little, like a, just look for a red float flailing around it water, and uh, come and stand by. Wow! Come and stand by its side at water. Lift your jumper up. Flash me them little white teats, and I shall come out, and we shall embrace once more, my friend. So if that tickles your sweet spot, stick around. No drones, no fancy gear, as far as filming. Just like we used to do back in the day, is just enjoy ourselves, and just if we film it, we film it. So this one's for all you old school, old school heads. A bit of a retro, a retro one. Woohoo! It's windy. That ain't gonna do me any favours out there, is it? At all, mate. Oh. Not Kansas anymore, Dotto. We're on a spring tide, so it's gonna be especially. Well, it, is, it looks very low, so I'll be able to get out quite far, check and and, and dive quite deep. Look at this look. Right, I will have to put you away now because I might have to add on to this rope for safety's sake. Back on beach. So I've not been for a while, so it's a mix of feelings of mainly excitement, but also a bit nervous. I've got to relearn to just chill out and relax. Oh, this has fallen down since last I was here. Always falling it, no one's ever putting any back on, I don't think. If we had more time, I'd have, or well, maybe later, I'll have a little look for some fossils in there. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit nervous. <sighs> I'm sure my breath holds will be cack, but I'm just gonna take it easy, get into it slowly. There's no rush. You wanna get some it, don't you? You want Joey D to come down to find your bag and then you want to get out at, way out at sea with just a proper catch on you. There you go, sunshine. 
reminds me, Biz. Just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, a little bit more. I bet I forgot some. It's been so long. Forgot what I'm doing. Oh, straight away, I didn't bring my, my foot thing to sit on. I've treated myself to a proper dive watch as well, just for safety's sake. Um, and a secondary knife as well, so that I've got uh, two options. Safety first, if you're on your Todd, I think. Just got to squirt some of my uh, oily gear in my lug holes, and then make my way to the side. Got, and I've put my little flip-flops just on float as I, when I go out, because it protects me, me uh, Protects my socks on these barnacles that are quite rough. I'll try and I've got my GoPro. I've got a little uh, got this new GoPro mount on the side of my gun, but I'm not holding out much up because the GoPro itself is shite in in water. I think anyway, it freezes and it's the GoPro 8 is just a bit naff. So I'm not expecting to film much when I'm in there. I'll try to do my best, but priorities uh, is pulling some out for tea, <laughs> and I'm excited. I'll see you. See you on the flip side. Uh, managed to snaffle a lobby, <laughs> uh, but I've had to get out because my bag's about to be engulfed by the tide. And I've been in for three hours, and my tongue's going all weird. And I think I can see a a hairball coming down the cliff in the shape of Joey D. So I get somewhere where I'm not going to get where my bag's going to be dry. And there we are in the woodland. We've come in because it was a little bit windy. Look. There he is. Let's zoom in on him. Look at that. I managed to get a lobster out, as you know, and we've brought it up into the into the stick. So we're going to have a night. We're going to have a night inland because wind picked up a little bit, and then we'll probably go back to the coast tomorrow. It's a legal-sized male. There's no. It's got no eggs. Well, it's not, of course it's a male, um, not hard shell, but that's big enough, legal size. Beauty. So bring, bring, it, bring the water to the boil, chuck him in, bring it up to the boil again and that's done. Decent bit of meat. I'll let that cool down a little bit and then we'll get into it. That's how you do it. What are you having? You want that big claw? Go on, have you a big claw, lad? You have that one, I'll have that one. Yeah, cheers, bon appetit. Ching. It's sweet, meaty, salty, wow. delicious. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Should we try a bit of this tail? So good. <laughs> oh. There we are. There we go. We're back in groove. I dip my toe in and it's colder than the sea. It's colder than the North Sea. <laughs> That's confirmation, it's cold like. Just 
stop, man. Oh, it's good up skin after it's all. It's all right here. It's nice, man. It's sun coming through, it's cold. Can you do I can't bottom it here. We've come for a gauge, an actual gauge. Yes, man. We're just having a gauge. We're allowed one. We're on holiday. We're just having a pint of Timothy Taylor's landlord. People and my mate Joey D. Good times. Probably going to stay here for the night anyway, so end, this probably end up being. <laughs> pint, our first pint in a pub together in a long time. And, a, and it was a lovely pint of landlord. And we've come down here and found this place. Lovely patch of grass. Enough to get our two tents on. I wouldn't usually have a fire somewhere like here, but there's a fireplace already that someone's used. So we might just use that and then we'll tidy that up tomorrow to the best of our ability. So look at that stance. How's it going? Good stance. How's it going? Been time. Long time no see, innit? Right, let's get our We've got a few jobs to do. We've got to collect some wood. We've got a couple of fantastic beers and a couple of weird beers that I'll let you, we'll let you have a look at. It was good doing the uh, lockdown podcast, I thought. Um, it was nice, man. Yeah, it kept me kept me going through the tough times. Yeah. You know? It was like being in the pub, wasn't it? Yeah, social interaction without having to socially interact. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are into that now. I feel we hit a high point with our... Um, zombie apocalypse one as well so if you haven't checked it out yeah i mean that is, is gold that should have Podcast been the, that should have been the start of the trajectory should have been yeah, you were like oh i think we hit a good we yeah. started like that and then just stopped doing them yeah we did yeah so we're sorry for our inconsistency anyway for those just listening we're about to open a can. <laughs> sorry <laughs> but for those watching look at that what the well what's gone on now then uh, it's a bags of flavour Seabrook cheese and onion lager and for anyone who doesn't know my American man them and lady them Seabrook is an old school make of crisp the best the best yeah it's oh, been around since 1945 they're just the best crisps do you have any memories of Seabrook crisps that you'd like to share with us I do yeah my um, my mum's mum my nan was a crisp <laughs> <laughs> used to cut the ridges out of them used to carve the ridges which is why I'm so good at carving so one potato makes one crisp I don't think people understand that that's why they're uh, so good right that's big that's an, that's an exclusive that uh, Joey D's nan's a tatey whittler <laughs> <laughs> my nan used to make us bring because you, you used literally could not so my mum and I was from the Midlands you couldn't get them in the Midlands they were a purely northern thing. Really? Purely northern. Well, that'll be why northern monks... Um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're made around these parts, mate. I've not had this yet. It doesn't smell overly cheesy. Let me clear my nose palate. Do you want me to pour you a bit to smell? Or do you want to smell it out of the can? I'm going to smell it out of the can. What do we say? Disposable barbecue. That was Joey's familiar. That was a cheesy whiff. Was it? Yeah. A chiff. So on the disposable barbecue, which is a drive-by, which is when you just run the can by your nose, for those who are just new. <laughs> uh, yeah, in case you don't know. In case, in case you didn't know that, it was, I got a bit of cheese there. Just a bit of sock cheese, like. It is, but, but, but the crisps themselves are quite sock cheesy, aren't they? It's not oh, like, they're, yeah, they're, they're of that ilk. Yeah. It's very light. And poor. It is very light. It's almost... Um, nice. A nice head Probably on. about the same colour you would imagine it's going to come out at. Right then, cheers to everyone watching and to everyone cheers. listening as well. Yeah, and to you, mate. It's fun. Not to me. Yeah, to you, mate. It's good to be out again. Absolutely mint. Right, let's go. <laughs> Joe's holding his nose and he's going in. I'm letting him go. Right, I'll go as well. Don't hold your nose. You won't smell. You won't taste it. The idea of it makes me feel a bit ill. Whoa. <laughs> well, here's your problem. <laughs> here's the problem. <laughs> hey, hold on. The problem is we 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 did stop at a lovely country pub and have a pint of Landlord, so that's gonna that's gonna offset it because Landlord's are the king of beers. What percent is it? 
I've got to say the bark is worse than the bite, as in the smell is worse than the taste. Five four. I, I, the smell I find really off-putting. The smell's not right. I don't enjoy that. No, it's not what you want hitting your nose as you're about to take a swig of anything. No, because all I get is that engulfing smell when I put my head in be when I put my head in cup. All I can smell is like cheesy feet. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. <laughs> Should we bin it? I'm I'm not keen on drinking that. Like, should we throw it? I might neck it in a wanna. It's a concept beer. That's all it is. It's a concept, yeah. and you know sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. And this nasally does not work. Doesn't work on the nose, does it? No. Which makes everything else seem a bit rough. If you're going for the wacky, it has to be nice as well. You, Otherwise, anyone can anyone can just, like you said, do dog food beer. Yeah. And it tastes like dog food. Yeah. It has to work. This is so far. What I think it is is too, they wanted to support northern and local and thought, well, sod it, yeah. let's just try it. And I yeah. see where they were coming from. It's brave. Yeah, very brave. I'm taking shoes and socks off, man. I feel I like to do that. Because I just want to connect with nature. I want to ground myself in nature. You are nature. I am nature, aren't I? Nature from waist down. It's the longest we've not seen each other. Since we've seen each other. <laughs> For the last <laughs> For a long time. Six years, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's been a long time, man. By Brewgooder and Northern Moon Club. Does good. Does good. Apparently, it unlocks it water and everything, mate. It's 4.6 percent alcohol. You tag it there to register the unique impact of this beer and to be the first to know about new beers. What's the impact of it? It gives water to people. This beer water. unlocks 33 liters of clean drinking water for a community that needs it. That's 100 times the beer in this can. You're making a huge impact by drinking it. So we buy the water, drinking beer. And doing skip. good. I mean, we already do a lot of good. We are, we're overdoing it on good. We're going to have to go and kick a duck to death or something. <laughs> to offset it. I've seen one down there. Ah, well, that's why. I, you got, is, that what you, is that the one you had your eye on? To be honest, I've been ironing before we even offset it. So <laughs> I don't fancy his chances, to be honest. <laughs> Poor old duck. And it need, I needed something to clean the palate out, I'll be yeah. honest. Sorry, Northern Monk. Out of ten, what you're giving cheese and onion crisp lager? Come on. It's the worst lager. It's the worst it's beer. The worst beer I've ever had. No, it, well, it's the worst it beer I've had from them. Is it? Yeah. I mean, what? What? I haven't had any other beers. That I've gone. Oh, cheese. I can't even. <laughs> I had any beers, and I thought I can't even stand the smell of this. It's beer. a conversation starter, mate. I'm going to give it three, only because my pure love for Northern Monk makes it three. Otherwise, it would have been lower. But three out of ten from me. So one. One out of ten from Joe. Well, this is one of the most impregnated bits of fatwood that I've had in a long, long time. Amber? Yeah, it does. Looks like amber, doesn't it? Look at that, man. Looks like that smells so good. And that is just the resin that's built up. Absolutely amazing. Oh, mate, I'm reading such a good book at the moment. Entangled Life, all about fungus and mushrooms and how it, oh, yeah. in, you know, Shoulder. By Mog, yeah. Rain down. There we are. Get these little twigs going then, just build it up. So we've just done a podcast which will be out or it's out be out on Patreon only at the moment the video podcast and the actual audio podcast will be out soon once i've got a back catalogue that's worthy of bringing them out but we've done a lot of chatting on the podcast so we're not going to be chatting too much now we're just going to crack another beer the smoke will get rid of this, the midges and joey d's kindly chopped up some some uh, some nice seasoned oak mm. <laughs> He didn't put his finger. Look, you see how his, his pronounced knuckle is protecting the tip of his finger right now. And that's cutting 101. We're having um, there's chicken and pepper kebabs. One of them's like lemon, coconut, chili, 
And the other one's orange and something else. Chinese dressing on a pork steak. And I'm gonna have that with some veggies. Look at that. Look at that. When I say veggies, I mean just like a sausage casserole with a couple of green bits in it. Vanilla, cacao and hazelnut imperial stout. 9% kicking it door. Tar. Actual tar. And also thanks. Ah. Let's cheers the puds. Cheers. Cheers to the puds. Let's have a go. That is. That's sophisticated pudding. Isn't it? Sophisticated pudding. Wordlock Street is sophisticated pudding. He's saying. Mm. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. Sophisticated pudding. That one. <laughs> Can let the fire burn down and jump in wigwams. Morning glampers. This is what's going on. Just getting a brew on. JD's in his little cavern. Look how baggy it is. And it's a glorious day. Tent of choice. The Lanshan one. I don't think I'll stay in it again after this trip because it's so small. After using Lanshan two, my head touches the mesh on that side and my feet are touching that side. And every time you roll over, you're just touching it all. So. Any condensation there and I'd be done for. So I'm going to retire that because the, the Lanshan 2 is only a, a little bit heavier with loads more space. But nice and comfy, nothing nothing new in there, just all the usual stuff. The Trekology pillow is still going strong. Ex-Therm. Joey D's in his Coleman. The classic Coleman that one day will be in a museum. It just there's no bells and whistles, no thrills, doesn't need to be. And he's still out doing a bit. There you go. You don't have to get caught up in buying all new gear all the time. Joe's had that tent for years. Oh, over 10 years, mate, you've had that. Over 10 years. Man and boy. Look how baggy it is. We're going to have a couple of cans, aren't we, this morning? <laughs> couple, of, couple of cans, lads. Now, we had a couple of cans, but we need to blow cobwebs out, so we're going to have a little... Um, a little dunk in the soup after a nice cup of coffee. I say nice, just one of these three in one boys. Someone else, this fire was already there, wasn't it? So we'll just do our best to, to tidy it up. We're off for a dip. We're off for a dip. You don't want to be stacking it off end of here, do you? No, no <laughs> sorry, no. We've had a chill, packed all our stuff away, tidied the fire away, and so it's just a case of dunking, dunking and doing one. Cobwebs <laughs> blown away. Look how ready I am with oh, ready file. Cleaned it all away from whoever left it last time. Just a flattened bit of grass. Leave no trace. We've got all our rubbish with us that Joey D's carrying out. Round two, it looks a bit choppier than yesterday. And for some reason it looks like it's mud. There's the you can you see? These swathes of of mud or silt or whatever.
I tried my best, I got in there <clears throat> and it was just pea soup, couldn't see, literally couldn't see me on that far in front of my face. Tried diving down to see if it would clear up lower but it's just, it wasn't doing and then you're going down you can't see out and then it's just a bit dangerous in it when you're out on your own. We're just getting a fire going. And Jody got a few winkles, just a little bit of water, almost steam them. Catch of the day. Actually caught that. You actually caught it. Well done, mate. Thanks, man. At least you didn't blank. Yeah. It's good. Right, we tried our best. There was no visibility, so I couldn't get any crustaceans. My spear gun snapped. Joey D had a nice spin off end of there. Nothing doing. We've had our winkles. And the, the tide's coming in now. Oh, it's just nice to be out and about. So we're just going to... Climb back up the cliff. I'm burnt, man. Look at that. Yeah, we're just going to climb back up the cliff and uh, go look for somewhere to camp. Sometimes warm ales that you've had in your truck aren't the one. And so some frosty San Miguel's have to be bought. Gee, it's like a hunter. And there it is, we're just going to sink a couple of these beverages and then not doing much this evening. We'll try and get some shots of the stars. But apart from that, we're just going to ogle these views. There's digs, look. Just sleeping bag. Pretty clear. Amazing visibility today. Tempted. Very tempted to get the old goggles on. Right, we're down a bit sea now, Leek. Down a bit sea now, Leek. We're off in there. Blur cobwebs out for the final time. There's kids on beach and that, so we'll have to be a bit stealthy about getting the old Dudley Moors on. We've been in again, we're going in for double dip and then we're going to leave this one here. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon, Joey D. Say, say, say see you later. See you later. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.